Welcome back to Chicago Bears franchise here on Madden 24. And it's week six, taking on the 0-5 Vikings, but we have a bunch of breakout opportunities that we need to get into here. And the first one here is Jaquan Brisker. If he can make some plays, we could potentially get him up to, if I'm correct, it would be Star. I don't think he has uh, Star already, so maybe an opportunity to get him up to Star, I think would be pretty big. Um, just for the development of this defensive backs room, uh, we're up, we're without Jalen Johnson still one more game until we get him back. So we need to get our guys healthy again. And Kyler Gordon also wants to come out here and, uh, you know, make some plays and potentially get up to star development himself. And, uh, yeah, so if he has a good game, we could potentially get Kyler Gordon up to star and Jaquan Brisker up to star. Those are... I think pretty big dev opportunities. Honestly, Jaquan Brisker might go up to Superstar if we get it because he had two interception sacks or TFLs. Meanwhile, Kyler Gordon is just one. So my guess is Kyler Gordon would just go up to Star and Jaquan Brisker could potentially go up to Superstar, which would be pretty massive, actually. I didn't go and check that exactly because going through these menus this year sucks a lot. Um... You know, if you know, you know, like the menus are so slow in Madden 24 this year. I don't know what they did, but we're talking to Darnell Mooney, and this is a similar opportunity we had compared to last time when, you know, we could have got this sort of, uh, you know, uh, XP boost for him. I don't believe this is a breakout opportunity. Um, this is just, you know, getting more XP which is always great. We recently signed him to a new contract extension. And the last time we had this opportunity, we didn't get it because he got hurt. So uh, DJ Moore gets 2,500. And we can get and if we can get Darnell Mooney 150 plus receiving yards and touchdowns. He can get some uh, XP himself. It's not a breakout opportunity, uh, but it is a chance for some more XP. So we're taking on the Vikings. They're 0-5, which is very interesting because they have a good roster. So my guess on that, and any fear this is a trap game, it probably is a little bit of a trap game because once again, the Madden sim engine is mostly based off of playbooks. So I'm sure if I change their playbook to like the Kansas City Chiefs or something like that, which would probably be a good playbook for them because they have a good tight end, TJ Hawkinson, they have good receivers, things like that. So I'm sure if I changed it to that, they'd probably take off and be great, but they, something about the Vikings playbook and Sim just does not translate. It's sad that that's kind of the case. We, they really need to change that. That will be, again. And uh, Darnell Mooney, this is actually the uh, crisis in confidence. I'm a little shocked. I was pretty sure this was going to be Chase Claypool. Um, it's not Chase Claypool. It's Darnell Mooney. So uh, he definitely wants to get touches and things like that. And we're going to try to get him touches because we already have the uh, dynamic duo scenario for him that'll get him more xp so definitely want to get him more xp because i think he's gonna be a big piece of this offense long term in that slot role so we have some drills to do and pj walker has been you know despite last week's loss has been great for us he has come in and done everything that you want a backup to do and he's done it well so here we are here in this drill and pass skeleton and we only get bronze right there so let's try it again and here we are here 29 seconds left walker looking looking gonna throw this one this is a really good throw right here and you know we get silver that time and we're coming back again and there he goes we get gold this is our first time getting gold here and if you get gold you have a shot at potentially getting um, a dev trade upgrade with this stuff and we do not get the dev trade upgrade um, we just simply get 750 XP so come back again here Khalil Herbert I've done this one a few times and I've only gotten silver for some reasons but uh, this time we get a good enough multiplier where we can where uh, you know gold is really uh, you know possible here and for this one i would say if you get tackled at least once just do it again make sure you don't get tackled uh, so there we go we get gold chance at a dev trade upgrade random rng chance do we get it do we not 
Uh, we do not get it. We only get 750 XP, which is fine. I'm glad that they don't just hand those out like candy, but just remember, uh, these drills are worthwhile doing for certain players because you can get dev trade upgrades. I've seen it happen before. I haven't gotten one yet personally, but uh, yes, you can get those. So DJ Moore gets a big upgrade here and uh, plus one spec catch, plus two medium route, deep route, catching, break tackle, awareness, short route. I mean, just a bit of everything there. Awesome upgrade. Zach Pickens, defensive tackle. Going to get an upgrade here. Plus two block shedding. That's not a bad upgrade for him. And plus one tackle and play recognition. I wonder how big play rec is for defensive tackles and things like that. So, yes. Justin Fields is going to miss this game. But this should be the last game he misses. He should be back after this game. He is going to be the starter. PJ Walker, salute to you. This is your last you know, start, hopefully, for the season. Uh, so as we take on the Vikings here, hopefully Justin Fields can stay healthy and we, and we take on the Vikings. Let's go. Week six of the NFL season sees the Bears take on the Vikings division showdown. Kirk Cousins coming in this one, leading this Viking squad so far this season to an 0 and 5 record. Struggling. Struggling is the only way to describe this Vikings team right now. As my phone goes off. But. The story here is the Bears. Next week, Justin Fields should be cleared to return to action, which means this very well might be P.J. Walker's last game as the starting quarterback for the Chicago Bears. What has he done in that time period? 800 yards, 8 touchdowns, 1 interception, couple wins, 1 loss. Very good stuff here. And early on, he's going to find Darnell Mooney, recently signed a new contract. Said he felt he was going to have a big game today. So here comes Darno Mooney again. Harrison Smith trying to rip his head off. So now here comes the Bears again. Going to be a handoff. Killer Herbert cuts it back inside. Very nice balance right there to break off the tackle. Pick up six. Pick up the first down. Third and five now. P.J. Walker looking. Throws this one. Tries throwing the quick out. And just misses that one. So out would come the field goal unit. Santos. Kicks this one away. That one's good. Bears taken early. 3 nothing lead. So out will come out Kirk Cousins. What does he have in store? Throw on the run. Right there going to find Justin Jefferson. Pick up the first down. Gain of 25 yards on that one. So here comes Cousins again. Looks, fires, finds. That's Kareem Hunt. And they gave him Adrian Peterson's number. Well, they both like kicking and beating people. So kind of fits. Here comes Kareem Hunt again. Tried trucking through someone, now spins off of him, then gets WWF tackled. Picks up 13 on the play, so now 3rd and 8. Here comes Cousins, throws this one, end zone. That one's going to be knocked around a couple times right there. That could have been picked off once or twice. So out would come the field goal unit, kicking this one up. It's good. Tie ball game here. So 3rd and 3. Play action look. P.J. Walker throws this one, going to find Tyler Scott. He moved up the depth chart. Chase Claypool moved down the uh, depth chart. Trade rumors swirling with him. P.J. Walker stands in. Going to find Tyler Scott right there. There's a big pickup on the play right there. Tyler Scott getting some snaps. Impressing a bit. So here comes a deep shot here. That one's almost picked off. But it almost gets caught by Mooney on the deflection. Fourth and eight coming up here. Mooney couldn't come up with the football. That one was thrown a little too far out in front. So Cairo Santos, can he hit the field goal from here? Pretty deep, and he hits it. So 6-3 to three now. Here comes Kirk Cousins. Going to get blitz here. Edmonds, but it's TJ Hawkinson. Finding the football in the air. Kirk Cousins, I, I can't believe he stood in and actually just was able to hit that. And here comes Justin Jefferson. Took a few hits. Keeps his balance into the end zone. He goes. Justin Jefferson scores the first touchdown of the game. And there's, let's see, one Chicago Bear. Uh, one Chicago Bear took out two Chicago Bears, which means that was three Chicago Bears that could not come up with the play. So here comes PJ Walker. Going to find Darno Mooney, and he's going to get dragged down just past half field. Going to pick up the first down right there. So first and 10 coming up here now for the Bears handoff. Khalil Herbert gets to the outside here. Does he have speed to break away? No, he doesn't. But still picks up a bunch of yards. Gets brought down at the 17. 
So here comes a third and three. P.J. Walker, what does he got? Throws this one, tries fitting that in the window, and Harrison Smith, the old man, comes up with the with the pass breakup. Fourth and three. They decide to go for it here, wanting to get a touchdown. P.J. Walker tries running for it, and he can't get it. Felt that internal clock kind of going off. Told him to get out the pocket. Maybe would have had maybe had someone streaking across the back of the end zone right there if he would have maybe just stayed and stood in the pocket, but. You know, you got to get that ball out quick on fourth and three like that. So can the Vikings take advantage of the situation here? Picks up the first down right there. Jordan Addison does. So here comes Kirk Cousins again on the run. Throws it. Finds Kareem Hunt. He gets tackled down right there after picking up the first down. So here comes the Vikings again. First and ten. Starting to get something going here. Kareem Hunt misses a tackle. Picks up the first. That looks short to me, but they call it a first down. First and ten coming up now. It's going to be another play action. Looking down goes Kirk Cousins. He's going to get sacked right there. Justin Jones coming up with the inter with the I don't know why I said interception. Coming up with the sack right there. That'd be impressive if he came with the interceptions. Here comes Cousins. Throw on the run. Going to find Justin Jefferson. Now make it third and four now. So, you know, try to take it easy. Not turn the ball over. Don't try to force it. Cousins throws this one. And that one's going to get dislodged. Eddie Jackson and TJ Hawkinson comes up hurt on the play. So out come the field goal unit for the Vikings. That one is booted. And that one's good. That'll make it 13 to 6. So PJ Walker, what does he have here? Third and three. Gonna find Darnell Mooney. He's gonna pick up a bunch of yards out the catch here. Gets shoved out of bounds. Nope. Gonna get tackled in bounds. Would have maybe preferred him getting out of bounds. So here comes PJ Walker again. First and ten. Looking. Looking, navigating the pocket, throws this one up. That one should have been picked off. Instead, it's just deflected. Knocked down. So here comes second and ten. Play action look again. Walker looking. Just throws this one away. Can't find anything that he likes downfield and doesn't want to turn the football over. That's something he's done very well here. But he's going to find Darnell Mooney right there. Ran a really nice whip route right there. Just kind of put the DB in the blender. So here comes Walker again. Throws this one. Gonna get sacked. Third and 17 now. Gonna call a timeout. Third and 17 now. Just gonna try to pick up a few yards here to make this an easier field goal. Darnell Mooney tries getting out of bounds, but the Vikings, they decide to call a timeout themselves. Uh, there would be a penalty here. They tried drawing them off sides, but either way, field goal is good for Santos. So he is a perfect three for three today. So here comes Kirk Cousins, Navi in the pocket. Going to find Jordan Addison. Addison going to break a tackle, get brought down at the 46. Definitely pretty much in field goal range already. Now going to find number 84. And that's going to be another first down. I said 84 because I don't know the guy's name. Seven seconds. I think he just kicked the field goal here. But no, it's Eddie Jackson. He doesn't play for the Vikings. That's an interception. And Eddie Jackson coming up with a big play right there to keep the Vikings from scoring so now eddie jackson just kind of read that one perfectly and that's just a bad throw kirk cousins felt the heat and just forced a throw right there and that's way behind justin jefferson so what can the bears do i formation play action look here pj walker loads up deep shot here to dj moore there's a lot of contact right there and out would come the flag and this is going to be defensive pass interference. That is a brutal call for the Vikings. Great call for the Bears. 56 yards and penalties right there. And out comes Santos to end the half with the field goal. And that makes him a perfect 4 of 4. And that will make it 12 to 13. Vikings lead by 1 right there. But they should have at least gotten 3 points on that last drive. If it wasn't for the Kirk Cousins interception. So here comes Cousins again. Looking, throws this one up, heaves it to the end zone. It's Kyler Gordon picking it off. He doesn't play for the Vikings. He's taking this one out here, and somehow the offensive linemen outrun him. I'm not sure what that's all about. But either way, Kyler Gordon coming up with the interception. And that is a big play there for Kyler Gordon. He just read that one perfectly. Slightly underthrown football. And Kyler Gordon's able to just get under it and just pick it right off right there. Not sure what Kirk Cousins was thinking right there. Addison was pretty well covered. 
And that's just a poor decision by Kirk Cousins. But a third and seven come up here. Can the Vikings defense hold? And that's a great play from Cole Komet right there to come up with the football with Harrison Smith kind of lurking. So here comes Khalil Herbert right now. Tries cutting it back inside, and he does. Able to pick up the first down right there. So great play right there from Khalil Herbert. And there's just points in the game where Khalil Herbert just starts to get it going. I and mean, he might start off slow. But then he just gets it going right there. There he is, picking up another 10-plus yards right there for the first down. So here comes P.J. Walker again, and that's a tough throw right there. That one gets knocked down. That's going to be another defensive pass interference right there. Khalil Herbert, I don't think he was expecting that pass, but it's Jordan Hicks picking up the DPI. So now third and eight. What can Walker do here? He's just going to keep it himself. DB turned his back and then looks, and then there he is running into the end zone. It's P.J. Walker with the touchdown run right there. Number 29 kind of turned his back to go play in the coverage, and P.J. Walker took that as a green light to just run this one in himself. And now they go for two. Walker stands there, throws there, and that's going to be D.J. Moore. And so just like that, the Bears have stormed all the way back to take the lead here. So now what do the Vikings have? Third and four here, and that's just a great throw there to Justin Jefferson. Yannick and Gakwe out there in coverage. That's just not going to work. Fourth quarter now. Handoff Kareem Hunt. Going to pick up the first down at the 27. So here comes the Vikings now. Can they tie this thing back up? Kirk Cousins going to find KJ Osborne. Osborne going to get brought down at the 10. More from him in a little bit here. Here comes second and goal. Cousins looking throws, and that's going to be KJ Osborne. I said it'd be a little bit more from him a little bit later. I meant right the next play after that, actually. Touchdown, Vikings. This one's tied back up. KJ Osborne said he's tired of losing. Wants to win a game, and he, that might have just helped them do it. Tying this thing back up. So, PJ Walker. Fourth quarter here. Going to be a handoff. Nope. Play action. Now he's navigating the pocket. Throws this one. And that's a great play to DJ Moore. And DJ Moore going to get brought down at the 48. Big first down pickup right there for the Bears. DJ Moore having a sensational season. Taking a back seat in this game to Darnell Mooney a little bit. And I don't think he'll mind. Mooney picks up another bunch of yards right there. They go quick hurry up. Second and three. Handoff here to Khalil Herbert, and he gets WWF tackled down right there. Third and three coming up now. P.J. Walker steps back, looks, throws this one up, sees if he has anything, nothing. D.J. Moore gets spun around. Fourth and three. What do the Bears do? They decide to go for it here. This time, play action look. Walker looking, and he's just going to keep it himself. Runs out of bounds. Picks up the first down. Daniil Hunter... Could not get there in time. So P.J. Walker throws this one here. Darnell Mooney comes up with it, and that's going to be a touchdown. Williams getting burned on that one. Gave up the touchdown to Walker on the run. This time he gives up the touchdown to Mooney in the air. And he just got burned on the route. I think a couple of Vikings may have held him up right there. I think his own teammates acted as a bit of a pick. And Darnell Mooney just runs into the end zone. So Kirk Cousins, five minutes left. What can he make happen? Cousins throws this one up, and Justin Jefferson can't come up with the football. Tyreek Stevenson on the play right there. Rookie making a play on that pass breakup. So here comes Cousins, second and ten. Going to find Kareem Hunt. Hunt's going to get brought down by Kyler Gordon. Third and five now. Cousins looking, looking, looking. Throws this one to his own coaching staff out of bounds. That's not ideal. Fourth and five here coming up. Well, they would punt it away. So what do the Bears do? They take a bunch of time off the clock. Second and three here coming up now. Another run to Herbert. Just trying to take time off the clock. Herbert, that's a first down. And they still call their timeouts here. One left. Now going to be another handoff here to Khalil Herbert. He gets knocked down. Second and 13 coming up. Another handoff here to Herbert. And he... Turns that into something. Picks up three yards on the play. Third and ten coming up now. Just going to milk all the time off the clock here. A little toss play, and that just uh, that does not get blocked at all. Does not get blocked. So 
35 seconds coming off the clock. Well, they decide to whittle down all the time on the clock, and that leaves the Vikings with nothing here. Fourth and 10. Kirk Cousins has to heave this one down the field. No one gets their hands on it, and the Bears going to come away with another victory. P.J. Walker does it again in what could be his final start of the season, possibly his career. You never know. These guys don't get too many opportunities to start, but P.J. Walker definitely earned the respect of a lot of people the way he played in this stretch where Justin Fields was injured. Your final 27-20, Vikings fall to 0-6. Bears, they improved to 4-2. and It wasn't pretty, but... The only thing that matters is getting that W, and they got it here today. P.J. Walker, 19-34, 266 yards, one touchdown, one rushing touchdown. Darnell Mooney, 11 receptions, 172 yards, one receiving touchdown. Khalil Herbert, 22 carries, 101 yards on the day. And then Kirk Cousins, 23-40, of 40, 313 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Justin Jefferson had a great game. Same with K.J. Osborne, but it just wasn't enough as the Vikings fall to 0-6 on the season. The Kirk Cousins' era may be coming to an end here in Minnesota. So that was a very good victory, and we get 37 staff points. That's a lot right there. Uh, I think that's a lot. I don't know. I, didn't, I haven't touched really how you earn staff points. I think I left all that stuff at normal, so I don't think 37 should buy like an upgrade R2. So Jatir Carter gets an upgrade. I don't think we've seen him yet this year. If we have, it's only been for a few plays, and it was maybe not good. But he gets an upgrade. Young young player, 24 years old. Not too young, honestly. But Tyreek Stevenson played well, honestly. Um, yeah, played really well, and he gets plus two man coverage, plus one play rec, plus one tackle. Had a couple nice good reps against Justin Jefferson, which I really like to see. So, but might want to try to get that zone coverage up, but I don't know. Uh, you know, that press rating is really good. So, uh, you know, you can either play him in the slot, we can play him outside, we can kind of do whatever we want with him, but I think we'll try to keep him outside against maybe teams ones um, if Jalen Johnson isn't playing. But we get an upgrade here for Darnell Mooney, and he is going to get plus, let's see what he gets here. We go to slot here, plus two awareness, plus two catching, plus one medium route, and plus one speed. He gets a speed upgrade, which... He's already pretty quick, and he goes all the way up to 94 speed, 93 acceleration. So that is a great upgrade for Darnell Mooney. Um, just becoming a bigger, bigger part of this offense. We got, got Tyler Scott involved in this game, so that is great. But we have a message here for the breakout player. I believe this might be Jaquan Brisker. Um, Just had a quiet game. I did eventually put him to, at sub-linebacker and actually helped get a little bit more speed. And that kind of helped us slow down the Vikings, uh, kind of like in that second half of the game. So, you know, didn't do it on the stat sheet, but like in terms of actual impact in the game, he actually did have one. And Kyler Gordon got that one interception. We were able to click on and pick that one off. And he, so he goes up to star dev and that's pretty good for him. You know, got to get that DB room better and we get plus 5,000 XP. What else we got here? And... I forgot, I didn't read what that was real quick before it came in. But yeah, Darnell Mooney, I believe this was the crisis and confidence. I'm not 100% sure, but he did appreciate the challenge. And uh, we were able to hit the goals of over 150 yards. Did get a touchdown for him. I didn't know if we were able to get a touchdown late in that game, but he just broke open on that last play. And uh, we were able to hit him. And so he gets plus three catching traffic, because I skipped through that pretty quick. Um, but cold opponent... This, uh, yeah, pretty nice to get a... I was a little worried. Again, like I said, they don't play like an 0-6 team. Um, so that is pretty nice uh, to get a win over a team that, on paper, is good. Just like I said, the Sim Engine, it's based on playbooks. I, once again, I'm sure if I gave them a different playbook, they'd be 6-0. Which is like, once again, that's really disappointing. I hope we see that fixed in Madden 25. Um, but yeah, Darnell Mooney, this is the crisis and confidence, I believe. And he woke up feeling like a different player today. Helping the team like that was a huge boost for me. And uh, yeah, it was pretty good. You know, because there are some times where we can't get the DJ more. You need to be able to rely on your number two receiver, and that's Darnell Mone. And uh, it's great. So uh, suffering from success. Uh, yeah, and he gets plus twenty five hundred XP. I was hoping we get a dev trade upgrade for him, but we don't get a dev trade upgrade for Darnell Mone. So that's a little disappointing. 
So when we come back, we're going to be taking on the Raiders. Justin Fields is going to be back, but we get some big upgrades here for some pretty important players. We get some for Eddie Jackson, Jalen Johnson, Kyler Gordon, Darnell Wright. A bunch of really important players getting upgrades. We'll get we'll focus on those in the next episode of Bears franchise. So if you've been enjoying this series, and it seems like you guys have been enjoying it, be sure to hit like, be sure to hit subscribe. That always helps the channel. And uh, yeah, just keep liking and sharing the videos if you want to share them. I'm not sure where you'd share them, but share them if you know with your friends, family, clergy, your debate club whatever you guys do in your free time, share these videos so more people watch them because that would be great. So thanks for watching. Be sure to hit like, be sure to hit subscribe. I've asked you a few times now to do it, so be sure to do it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.